They got about $10,000 of my money right now. Corinne Nimmer got the news in an email that the for-profit ITT Tech, where she's a student, was shutting down immediately. You got what in return? Nothing but a closed, a closed school right now. Worst of all, she says, is that it crushes her plans to complete her business studies and open a youth community center. I'm trying to be a productive citizen, but stuff like this is just really, just too much. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm sorry. Other students who showed up at the Greenfield campus shared her anguish, some just months shy of their diploma. I had one quarter left in here. I was about to do it, and it's not fair. We came here with a purpose, and they sold us on it, and we went for it. School employees refused to come to the door to speak with us. The Indiana-based company which runs the school has been the subject of investigations in several states, but in its email to students, blamed the shutdown on the federal government's decision blocking it from accepting students receiving federal loans. The Department of Education says current students may now qualify to have those loans dismissed, but this has also left those students grasping for answers. I don't know what to do right now. I'm just at a loss for words right now, so. One student told us that he called the school looking for answers. The uh, employee on the other end of the phone told him they had nothing to say and then hung up the phone. Greenfield police even tell us they were called in at one point today to remove some students who had come here to the doors off of the property. A lot of frustration here tonight. Reporting live in Greenfield, I'm Kent Wainscott, WISN 12 News. And a lot of questions, Kent. Thank you. ITT Tech has more than 130 campuses in 38 states. The shutdown will affect about 35,000 students who are preparing for the start of classes this month. The closure will leave more than 8,000 people without a job.